Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. We're going to take a look to see what would happen if the Lion and Rebute Gilliman would fight. It will be a battle of the brothers. We're going to dive deep into the data sheets and see who comes out on top. There's going to be no army or detachment rules because you can't really use stratagems to buff them too much and they're not allowed to take the enhancements either. The data sheet abilities don't mostly come into play because a lot of them are based on uh, preventing mortal wounds or buffing units around you so we don't even really have to get there into them too much. The range abilities are pretty dire, it's all about the melee with them but we will take a quick look at them anyway. To begin with we'll set out the rules of engagement. So the models are going to be within 12 inches of each other so any rapid fire rules will come into play. They don't have the greatest of range weapons and they're all going to be hitting on 5s and 6s so they're not exactly great but we will calculate that as well just to see if there's extra wounds that can be clinked off and they are going to fire them for a little bit of chip damage anyway when they're coming into combat. We won't leave charges up to the dice gods, we'll automatically make sure that these are made. And we'll be taking a big long look across the averages to make sure that any spikes don't come into play. You can expect spikes in a normal game, uh, but we want a bit of consistency of play rather than one-off glory games. Now we know that Rebute does have the ability to stand back upon death, so will the Avenging Sun rise from the dead when the lion will probably kill him? As he is a master swordsman after all, and Rebute is more known for his governments and theory crafting. So first up we have the data sheet for the Lion of Caliban, Lionel Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angels. His data sheet comes in with an 8 inch movement, toughness 10, a 2 up save, 10 wounds, leadership 5 and objective control 4. And he comes with a very tasty 3 up and vulnerable save which will help him a lot in the battle to come. For his range profile he comes in with a very nice ballistic skill 2 and he's equipped with the armor luminous now this has two profiles the first being bolt which has the pistol keyword allowing him to shoot when in engagement range it has an 18 inch range four attack strength four minus one ap and two damage it then comes with a plasma profile as well being an 18 inch range two attack strength eight minus three ap and two damage his melee profile does come in at weapon skill 2 as you would expect and his melee weapon of choice is his master crafted power sword which is called fealty now fealty comes with two different profiles the first being strike which has the lethal hits keyword so any critical hits will automatically wound the opponent this comes with eight attacks strength 12 minus four ap and four damage so a very nice outcome for this profile the second profile is sweep which has sustained hits once so critical hits will score an additional hit and it comes in at a massive 16 attacks, strength 6, minus 3 AP, and 2 damage. It's quite a respectable profile for the lion, as you'd really expect him to have. Um, in comparison to other Primarchs, he might need a little bit of a bump up, but on a whole, individually, it's a very nice melee profile for him to have. Next up, we have the data sheet for Rebute Gilliman, the Avenging Son himself, Lord Commander and Imperial Regent of the Imperium of Man. So it's the same basic profile as the lion, being movement 8, toughness 9, 2 up save, 10 wounds, 5 leadership, and objective control 5. Now he seems to be in slightly worse armor than the lion because he only has a 4 up and vulnerable save, which uh, could be at his own detriment when the battle is to come. For his range profile, being a Primarch is as you would expect, being a ballistic skill 2. And he does have that master crafted aggressor bolter being the Hand of Dominion, which comes with a Rapid Fire 2. So when he's within half range, he'll have an additional 2 attacks. So this comes with a 30 inch range, 2 attacks, strength 6, minus 2 AP, and a respectable 2 damage. His melee profile comes in at a weapon skill of 2 plus. Now he has two weapons to choose from, the first of which being the Emperor's Sword. This is his Flaming Sword, and it comes with the Devastating Hit keyword. So any critical wounds, will result in uh, a wound that bypasses any save throws and goes straight onto damage onto the model. This comes with 14 attacks, strength 8, minus 3 AP and 2 damage. His second weapon is the Hand of Dominion. This comes with lethal hits, so any critical hits will automatically wound the opponent. This comes in at 7 attacks, a very high 14 strength, minus 4 AP and 4 damage. So a very respectable uh, melee profile for the handed dominion 
So straight away we can see his defensive capability is going to be less than the line because instead of having the 2 up 3 up save he's going to have a 2 up 4 up so he's going to be a bit more vulnerable to attacks. Um, his range profile is much worse just being that strength 6 he's going to struggle to punch through. But where he does come in trump slightly is his handed dominion melee weapon. That additional strength won't come into play in this battle, but in different battles against different opponents, that strength 14 is massive. Coming in with a minus 4 AP and 4 damage is really good for Rebute. So on to the battle. Uh, Rebute won the roll-off, so Gilliman will go first. Let's see what the Revenging Sun can do. So with his ranged attacks, the Handed Dominion is going to average 0 to 1 wound, so it's going to give a maximum of 2 damage really, but it's actually unlikely to push any wounds through, so it's more likely to be 0 damage. If you elect to go with the Emperor's Sword for his melee attack, you're going to wound uh, 1 to 3 times in reality, and it's going to do 2 to 6 damage, so not as much as you'd like to hope. So you want to swap this straight out for the Handed Dominion, that extra strength is really going to come in handy over those extra attacks. Uh, he's going to wound two times on average and that's going to do a massive eight damage those four damage per wound is very nice for him so the total comes in at two to ten damage uh, but two of that damage is with the handed dominion now i did round it up and he's more likely on average to take two rounds of shooting to push that one wound through to get that two damage so he's very unlikely to kill the lion on average because he's only going to come out at eight damage meaning the, the lion gets to hit back the good news if he manages to survive the lion's melee onslaught he will get to strike first in the next round as the second player so there is hope for the avenging sun yet well the lion now gets to strike back you're going to hear his roar because he will be angry at these attacks from rebute now looking at the maths that you saw with gilliman it works out better to use the strike profile because you are going to average more damage going through so with fealty he will use strike and he's going to push three to four wounds through uh, the armor of gilliman and you can do eight to twelve damage coming to the total there's no range profile to include on this so it is just the melee attack so it is the eight to twelve damage rebute is going to be in critical condition he's hanging on by a hair really he's on the way out if he's not already dead a strong breeze is going to knock him over now it's the next turn so it's the lion's a chance to fight however he will go second if rebute can survive until then and then the lion will be in trouble unfortunately for rebute the luminous pistol is going to on average push a wound through into gilliman and now that it's two damage for each profile it will finish off the avenging sun so the big question is does Rebute manage to drag himself back up off the floor and carry on fighting? Of course he does, he's on a 3 up, so on average you're going to make this roll the majority of the time. He stands up and he's ready to go again, he returns to action with 6 wounds. That was the good news, now up for the bad news, it's still the lion's turn and he gets to charge now. And when he charges in, he's going to do another 8 to 12 damage on average, removing those regenerated 6 wounds from Rebute, so he's killed him twice, Rebute didn't stand a chance. So a couple of little extra bits and pieces to go over. There are going to be times when you spike in the game or your opponent spikes or just the gods are against him and you roll under what you expect. So if the averages go against the lion and the Gilliman charges, he strikes second in the next combat and will ultimately succumb to Rebute's attacks because Rebute's attacks are quite high. He's going to on average do 8 damage each turn. So when he gets to strike twice for the lions once, he will kill him on average and even if he rolls slightly below average, he should still have enough to finish off the lion. So what happens when the rolls are reversed and the lion gets the charge off first? Well on average as we see he will kill him. He's doing 8 to 12 wounds, a damage that is, just with his melee weapon. And on average for every round of shooting he's going to do 2 damage with his pistol. So on average even if he goes, uh, if he goes first he's going to shoot and then go into combat. And he's going to kill him in one round of combat. So ultimately, Rebute is really reliant on the Emperor of Mankind coming through for him, blessing the dice and making them spike in his favour, so you either roll high or the line rolls low.
But even with a bit of warp shenanigans on the dice, we didn't actually bring into account the Emperor's Shield ability that the Lion has. And he manages to bounce saves the sixes back at mortal wounds. So the Lion has the ability to actually kill him even further because he should on average bounce a couple of wounds straight back at Rebute. Even though the Lion will kill Rebute within one turn, that's two rounds of combat or a round of combat and the use of his pistol it's actually much closer than you'd expect because the handed dominion is a very good weapon for rebute he's got high strength high ap high damage and a decent amount of attacks and hitting on twos um, it's always going to have the ability to punch through armor even on the most toughest of opponents now the lion's melee profile is very good but when you compare it to a model that perhaps shouldn't be quite as good as it at melee do one of them need lowering and one of them raising? Potentially, um, because Gilliman's also really good into those uh, lighter bodies, the toughness three, toughness four bodies, because he's got a large amount of attacks to go in there as well, as well as being high AP and two damage. So maybe there's a little bit buff or nerf going in there, but they're both quite expensive models, so really rather than nerf and one, um, a points reduction and a buff to certain profiles would be quite nice for them. But without being Gilliman's forte, he's more about his planning, his governance. Um, it's not his his forte to be a duelist, essentially. That is what the lion relies upon. That's his thing, that and secret. So you expect him to be good in, as part of his repertoire. So this was a bit of an experimental video to see if this is what people would be interested in. Uh, if you like this type of thing, even though it doesn't have the models in the tabletop, hit the like button uh, if you didn't comment below and i'll have a, a think about what to do in the future and while you're at it check out these other videos subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time